shotgun. Play clock down to four. There's the snap. Here comes pressure by the Gators. Quick throw. Mitchell makes the catch. He breaks away. 30, 25, 20. Fears inside. 10 breaks the tackle. Five breaks it up. Well, actually, growing up as a kid, I, I didn't read at all. I was always outside playing sports. And, you know, I, I developed a love of reading just over time. I found that it was very important to read. And just those simple skills that reading gives you is very important in everyday life. I had a friend that was about to go out of town. And she knew I liked to read, so she wanted some books to read while she was back home. So I told her to go to Barnes & Noble's and we'll just find something. You know, we, we didn't have any books in mind or anything like that. One Sunday afternoon I decided I would go to a bookstore and look for the next book. I was I still had several weeks before I had to have it completely read. We go to the bestseller rack and we just start looking. And I look to the left and I see a lady with a bag and she has she's juggling like three or four books. I think two are under her arm and she's reading one. And I was standing in front of the bestsellers and Several other books caught my eye, so I was looking at the jacket covers, and this nice young man comes walking up with a friend, and I can overhear them talking about, oh, this one is good, or you might like this, or I read that one. I said, I guarantee she knows something about, about what's going on right now. But I shied away from him. I say, I'm going to walk up to her. She's going to be like, no, nah, he's weird. I don't talk to strangers or something like that. <laughs> so I said, no, I, I wouldn't ask. I told myself that. And at some point, he looked over at me and said, can I ask you a question? And I said, sure. And he said, can you recommend a book for le just leisure reading? And I asked her what books were out that were really good that she liked. And from there on, the conversation just grew until she told me she had just joined the book club. And I said, well, what do you like to read? And he said, anything. I just like to read. And I said, well, I actually just joined a book club. And he went, you did? I want to be in a book club. And um. I had been personally looking for one to join, so I just asked her if she would ask the head people of the club to allow me in. I thought they were going to say no. You know, that she had told me there were no males in there, so I was like, I'll have a chance. And he said, I've always wanted to see how book clubs work. And I said, really? And he said, he said, yeah, do you think they'd let me join? And I said, well, I don't know if you want to join ours. We're all, you know, 40, 50, and 60 year old women. And he said, I don't care. I just like to read. So as I'm typing his email address, all of a sudden I get this feeling and I looked at him and I said, he was very nice, very sincere, and I said, are you like a big deal football player and I just don't know it? And the, the friend that was with him was going, mm -hmm, yeah. And he was like, no, I'm not, no, 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 I'm not. You know, just very unpretentious, you know, no. And she, and she was going, yeah, he is, yeah, he is. And I was like, okay, all right. And I drove straight down to my neighbor's house because they're young people that are very much into UGA football. They know all the players, all the stats, everything. So I went down to their house and I said, do you know how Mal who Malcolm Mitchell is? And they went, yeah, yes. And I said, well, he's my new friend. <laughs> it's fun. It's, it's funny too, because the first, the first um, meeting I went to, they all asked how old my mom is. And my mom's gonna hate me for saying this, but she's 42. You know, and everyone in the book club is older than my mom. Everyone. Some of them are older than my grandmother. You know, and it's all like, I've been adopted into their family. And I definitely enjoy it because any, any time there's nothing to do in Athens, they always invite me over either just to hang out with their kids, <laughs> which are my age, or some of them older than me. And uh, just to hang out, eat, have fun, talk. And they do a lot of stuff that I never thought I'd even be question myself about doing like cooking <laughs> or uh, Kathy actually knits and stuff like that so was, I don't think I'll get into it but I, I might actually do something for me one day. He's just very unpretentious he just said I just knew that he said after my freshman year I wanted to step it up and do some things that I hadn't done before start reading more uh, expand myself in that regard. And they start asking him about his life, you know, when he was young, they said, have you always liked reading? And he said, no, when I was growing up, we were outside playing football. And of course the whole crowd laughed and said, it has served you well. <laughs> what it does do is help you read stuff you wouldn't read though, like the book we're reading now, like Between Oceans. I doubt I would ever pick that up. You know, but because I'm in a book club and that's the book that was chosen for this particular month, you know, I, I opened up and started reading. All the, all the ladies in the club are, are great people, 
and um, definitely good friends. So the relationships are, are great and you know, I cherish them.